Hello everyone, it's Russ of Aquarimax Pets here with an unboxing from none other than the pod father himself, Wally Kern of Supreme Gecko, Supreme Isopod, and now Supreme Aquaria. And I'll put links in the description so you can check all those out. Now, Wally and I have uh, done a couple of collaborations. You might want to check some of those out if you haven't uh, seen any of those and probably do some more in the future. But Wally helped get me into geckos years ago, and uh, I helped him get into isopods. So it's kind of fun. We've we've known each other for a long time, and we've done a lot of cool stuff together. So here is the environmental awareness sheet with the permit number right there. Sweet. And there's an invoice sheet in here, but I don't want to, um, you know steal the thunder but there's Wally's contact info if you are into ice pods or geckos and you're not uh, working with Wally you should uh, make sure to get in touch with him because he's got a lot of cool stuff going on all right here we go I'm excited for some live and non live things in here okay so I've sold off of a pretty good bit of my Porcelio Scaber lottery mix and so I wanted to get some of those from Wally to help uh, bolster both my numbers and my genetic diversity. Oh that looks like, is that a pied specimen there? That's a cool looking one. There's a bunch of them hiding around in here. Um, some people like lottery mixes, some don't. I love lottery mixes, party mixes, gem mixes, you know, anything that has a lot of variety in terms of color and pattern. I love it. He's got quite a few here. So let's uh, release these into their bin along with the ones that I already have. There's one or two right there. These, these look incredibly impressive when you have a large number of them. And so they, they make a really, really good display um, as long as you can see them. Well, that's a nice big wild type one. A whole bunch of them running around there. Looks like that one is probably an orange Dalmatian up near the top. There's a calico, a nice calico right there. I do love the wondrous variety. As I've said before. So nice, good start there. And here is a Porcelio Scaber morph that I do not have. I have orange Dalmatians. I've had orange Dalmatians for a long time. In fact, I produced some by crossing oranges with Dalmatians and then got some of the uh, stock that already existed and put those together. So my stock is descended from both of those. But orange Dalmatians don't have a lot of orange on them a lot of the time. You have to cull them a lot. You can get some stunning specimens, but you have to cull them a lot. And you have to cull these two, as, as Wally told me. But they have a couple of differences that they offer. There's, there's a fun one right there. Look at all that orange on them. They have kind of a pied pattern, but it's a lot of orange with lighter patches. And one of the interesting things, too, is it's not... And there's one that looks almost entirely orange. But they have a, a lot of variation, which is fun. But th they can have a lot of orange coverage on them, which I really, really like. There's, there's one if we can focus on that one. So you can see some lighter patches on there, lighter skirt, but a lot of orange. That's what I'm excited about. And uh, the patches also fade gradually. It's not like a stark separation, like on a pied individual, but more of a, a fading in and out of different colors, which, which I really think is cool. I appreciate that. So these will be a lot of fun to work with. Thank you so much, Wally, for these. Let's put those in their new bin. All right. Well, here we go. Um, I'm glad he sent these on moss because I've actually been a little low on moss and ordered a bunch of moss and it was delayed in the mail and I go through a lot of moss as you might imagine. 
So that has been frustrating. So I have moss in here. Oh, I missed one. Well, I put it in the bin, but uh, I didn't uh, didn't see it go in. But I see it running around now. I'm not sure you saw that. So I apologize for that. Anyway, um, I, I put moss in here, but it's kind of the dregs of the uh, bin there. It's got springtails in it already. It's been sitting and marinating with springtails in it for a little while. Not as long as I would have liked. Ideally, you do it for several weeks, but uh, eh, I got to start anyway. There's one of them right there. I think we saw that one earlier. It's going to be a cool effect to see these. Once they get into a, a large, you know, have a large population I'm going, that'll be really cool. Okay. Oh, there's a couple right there. That one's got some pretty heavy orange coverage there. They do tend to vary a lot. There's one with, look at that one. That one's got a lot of white on it. And I, I really like the unique, unique patterning on there. Like I mentioned, it fades out. Oh, there's another right there. Just a few little white flecks on it. That's fun. I like that. There's a big one, a very flecked one. Look at that. Can I focus on it? I'm trying to. It's very cool looking. There's a whole bunch in this handful. There's one crawling on the bottom of my hand right now, I think. Yeah, a very unique look to these. I really like that. There's a young one running around in the deli cup. And there's one with a really cool pattern. I'm having a hard time focusing on it again, but right there. Looks like it's got totally white antenna and lots of flecking. So super cool. Very nice start. And as I had learned long ago, I'm not going to dispose of this quite yet. I'm gonna have to make sure that I double check it. So you never know what you could be missing. Little tiny babies, something like that. And before I go much further, I really want to thank my patrons at Patreon. They help me do a lot of things. There are a lot of different ways to support a channel. Just by watching this channel, you're supporting it. By buying things at the Aquarimax store. Uh, that's another good way to support Aquarimax pets. Or use my affiliate links. A lot of things you can do. But being a patron is one way that you can really help this channel continue to produce content and improve what I do. And so I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who supports the channel in any form. And if you'd like to become a patron for as little as a dollar a month, please click the link at the end of the video or in the description. And now back to the unboxing, something I'm really excited about. It's non-living, but it is super cool. I saw this on Wally's website and just could not resist. Let's take a look at this. Look at this tote bag. There's an orange koi right there. Love it. Supreme Gecko logo there. It's got a, a zebra. Looks like a panda king. Armadillidium klugai montenegro. Whoop, I dropped it. That's fun. It looks like both sides are identical. Super awesome. I saw this, said I have to get one of those and I'm gonna bring it to the expo. Uh, that I'm going to in about a week and a half and uh, or less than that actually and show it off and tell them where to get their own people are, I'm sure people are gonna ask me and I'm gonna say you get these at Supreme Gecko so thank you so much Wally really appreciate it and uh, thank you everyone for watching I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesdays please feel free to share rate comment and if you haven't already subscribe and then tap the bell for notifications all so you don't miss my next video.